Audi shows European journalists a sportier S5, Swedes attack a Toyota Prius, and Mini Fields a new challenge from Italy. What's up everybody? I'm Derek D and happy birthday to me. It's my birthday today and I'm feeling pretty good. Derek, we, uh, we've got a surprise for you. Oh, oh, you guys shouldn't have. Thank you. Look, they got me a cake. It says, happy 400th episode. Thanks, because this is from who? It's from Street Fire. Streetfire.net. Yeah. All right. It's my birthday, but we'll get a birthday cake for us, for the show. See that? Oh, it's very nice of them. I mean, they could have threw like a two Ds on there or something for, for my birthday, but that's fine. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Happy birthday to me. Why haven't you upgraded to Vista yet? Just the bad things I've heard about it. Today, I'm going to show you Linda's Mojave. Well, that looked pretty simple. I'm actually blown away. I'm thinking I'd like to have this. Actually, this is Vista. Really? If the Audi RS5 and yesterday's rumor mill tweaked your happy region, check out what Audi's been doing on the side. This week, European journalists were treated to a drive in the new one-off Audi S5. Audi calls it the S5 Evo. The company says it's got a higher output version of the 4.2 liter V8 in the standard S5, producing 420 horsepower. That's 66 more than the current model. Even more surprising was Audi's choice of gearbox, not the typical Tiptronic. The S5 Evo prototype has the latest version of Audi's S-Tronic transmission. That's the dual-clutch manumatic known to fans of the Volkswagen GTI as DSG. Journos on the scene say the Evo has a special sports mode that sets up quicker gear shifts, better throttle response, and a firmer ride. Audi's not saying whether the Evo will be the next RS5 or whether it will become a special edition model above the S5. And who says the Toyota Prius isn't a true sport compact? Well, us for one. But in Sweden, it's a different story. This ultra-modded Prius is the product of Classy's Garage, which spent about 1,000 hours and the equivalent of 159,000 bucks on the project. That madly pimped Prius gets a wide-body kit, 20-inch alloys, and a set of doors that unfold and swivel outward. Inside, the Swedes include a tablet PC audio system and more LCD screens than NASA's Mission Control. Great. Next up, an Italian mini car gets tuned for Paris. That's the Internet Rumor Mill. After this, happy birthday to me. Woo. You're familiar with the death race. The drivers are convicts and the rules are simple. It's kill or be killed. I can see the appeal. Win and get your freedom. Let's play a little offense. <laughs> You're out in front. Who are you going to shoot at? Hold tight. I love this game. I want to watch you you can burn me, you can shoot me, but you can't kill me! Take it off. Starts August 22nd. Hey, any single chicks out there want to go to the movies with me tonight? Go see Death Race as a birthday gift to me. Cool, if not, that's fine. But uh, go see Death Race as a gift to yourself and me. It's in theaters today, starring Jason Statham. Go check it out if you'd like to. The Mini Cooper S may not be worried about the Fiat 500 just yet, but if a new in-house tuner Fiat shows up in Paris, there may be a bit of concern in Oxfordshire. It's the Fiat 500 Abarth SS. That's the more powerful version of the Abarth tuned 500. Spies caught the 500 SS recently, sporting a telltale dual exhaust. Word is the SS will get a power bump to around 160. Doesn't sound like much, but the Abarth weighing only 2,200 pounds should be able to keep up with a 172 horsepower Mini. No word on a price or release date, or if the U.S. will ever see the Abarth SS on its shores, but we'll likely see it for the first time at the Paris Motor Show next month. And finally, what do you call BMW all-road station wagon pulling a trailer? No, not a question no one asked. It's the BMW F5. That's an upcoming all-purpose wagon that'll be built on the same chassis as the next generation 5 series. Europeans may call the Spacious 5 an MPV for its taller ride height and high roof to boost interior space. Others might call it a new competitor to the Mercedes R-Class, we're just gonna go ahead and call it Jeff. And no, we didn't forget, you guys know what time it is. It's Commenter of the Week time. Commenter of the Week. Comment on it. show, yeah. <laughs> Commenter of the Week. Comments. Comments, all right, yes. This week comment comes from Vlad, or Vlade, or whatever the hell your name is. He says, it's already Dee Dee's B-Day where I'm at. Happy B-Day, man. For your birthday, I'll collect money from Somalians to buy you decent pants so you don't need to parade in your boxers. Listen, I've told you guys 1,500 times, they were shorts. They're not boxers. They're shorts. Why would I wear boxers on a TV show? Internet TV show. Sheesh. And you should go buy a pair, because I like them. 
Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. I'm Derek D, and I want to thank Streetfire.net again for sending us the cake and not acknowledging my birthday. But thanks, guys, and I tell you, I really love that Crash of the Week segment you guys got going on. Keep that up, all right? You guys have a good week. Happy birthday to me. Later. I mean, a good weekend. Subscribing costs nothing. Daily, not monthly. And our cars actually move. Fastlane Daily is fast and fresh and here to stay.